everybody, my name is Goodboy, and welcome to the Dota 2 Hero Guides. This is a great way of looking at one specific hero, and the items and abilities they'll need, and how you should play them at the different phases of the game. Lifestealer has several roles in the game. Early game, he's particularly known for his jungling ability. His passive ability, Feast, gives him massive life leech on enemy creatures. This makes him very effective in the jungle. But the ability builds into a much more powerful role later on. He is considered to be a carry, particularly if he gets his items, and an anti-tank. So this makes him very effective and dangerous late game, providing, of course, that he gets all the farming needs. In terms of abilities, particularly if you're going to jungle, his passive ability, Feast, is an essential item to level up. Getting at least two levels on that is key. But don't forget Open Wounds, that's an incredible slow and combos very well with lots of other heroes. So make sure you're leveling that up quickly too. Do by all means get one level on Rage. The magic immunity is very effective, as is the attack speed. And of course, at level 6, 11 and 16, get Infest. This will make you the most effective in terms of abilities. Your starting items for Lifestealer will be a Stout Shield and Quelling Blade. Quelling Blade gives you bonus damage against jungle creeps, and the Stout Shield will help protect you from damage. You may find that your Feast ability doesn't give you enough life gain early on, so a, st a Healing Salve will help top you up. An early game must, however, is Hand of Midas. Try to get this by 9 minutes, otherwise it becomes less effective. This will give you enough gold and experience to get all the core items you need. And then you'll either want Phase Boots or Power Treads. Remember that phase boots are very good for pursuing enemy heroes. Your core items will be a Skull Basher and Armlet of Mordigan. Mordigan increases your attack, and Skull Basher gives you stuns on your attacks. Should you be effective in the game, you get enough farm, you gank effectively, then you'll be able to get your extension items and have a good chance of winning the game. This includes Assault Crassus and Molager. These obviously have excellent bonuses, like increased attack speed and armor reduction for your enemies. Don't forget the situational items, like Orchid Malevolence, which will help you deal with escape heroes. You may need a Heart of Tarrasque, or even a BKB if Rage doesn't last long enough. You'll notice within terms of the most successful win rate items, that's Amolager, Assault Crassus, and Sanjin Yasha. And these are because they're your late game extension items. So if you manage to farm them, the likelihood is you'll probably win. You'll also notice that uh, the tipping point for, for Lifesteal is when you get a Skull Basher. If you get a score basher, your win ratio is slightly more ahead than your loss ratio. You'll also notice that Hand of Midas has probably one of the lowest win rates, and that's because so many people misuse it. They get it too late in the game and use it as a catch-up item, and that's where you get let down. You'll also notice that statistically, power treads and phase boots, they're almost exactly the same, but phase boots are slightly ahead because it does give you that pursuit mechanism. In the early game, you'll want to make sure you jungle. You're giving somebody out solo lane experience and potential farm. And also, you can be pretty efficient as a jungler. Remember though, obviously, when your feast is quite a low level, you'll need to rotate between the easy camp and the closest nearer other two. But just uh, focus on that farm and get as much gold as possible. Remember also to try and avoid ganks. This is helped a lot by warding and calling missing. But uh, everyone knows you're jungling, so don't think no one's going to come and try and kill you. And then of course, don't forget to get those ancient stacks. It can be very easy just to rotate between the three jungle stacks, but actually what you want to do is get the ancients. It's more gold and more experience. And remember, with all the jungle camps, make sure you're stacking continuously. In the mid game, you'll start to have the opportunity to start ganking people. Don't forget your open wounds is an incredible slow, and can be used very well with other heroes. And infest is incredible in a combo, but it can also be used as an escape mechanism. And that is why Lifestealer is considered to be a escaper, because he can infest and get out of a tight situation. Remember, he is an excellent anti-tank, with his slow, but also, once you get that skull basher, you're tipping the game odds in your favour, and you can see why it's so effective at killing people, because you're stunning with your attacks as well. Don't forget to gank. You don't want to be an AFK farmer the whole time. Gank and then get back to the farm. If you manage to get your different core items, then towards the late game you should be pretty terrifying. You've got great magic immunity, your attacks do incredible damage, and it's 
it's very difficult to actually stop you late game, particularly once you've got all your farm items. And that's why Lifestealer is such an incredible carry. Thanks very much for watching. If you liked the video, please like, subscribe and share. If you would like more guides for this particular hero, including heroes they combo best with, and counterpicking guides, please follow the video links.